Okay, today I'm going to make a dopiaza. This is part of a conversation I had with Joan One. Um, as I said to him, have you ever heard of a dopiaza? As he was showing all of his um, various spices that he used. So, um, I said at the time I didn't have a camcorder, so I couldn't um, record anything. And the last camcorder I did have, which I had to send back, was the um, Sony Boogie camcorder, which didn't work properly, and I had loads of problems with their customer service at Sony, and never ever going to buy another Sony product as long as I live now, because uh, the way they treated me. So anyway, uh, enough about that. Um, this is the um, some of the spices that I've got now. I'm going to prepare these and um, put them aside, ready for going into my dopiaza. But I can't film this because I need two pairs of hands, so I'll film it when that's done. See you in a tick. Right, um, here we have um, the, the spices um, measured out. It's a level teaspoon full of chilli powder. Mine, I use the hot chilli powder, but any chilli powder will do. A uh, teaspoon full of uh, turmeric ginger, garlic and uh, coriander and half a teaspoon full of cumin because it's a bit stronger um, spice. Also um, cardamom seeds, there's about 30 pots here and the recipe calls for something about 8 or 9, um, 10 whatever but I, I like a lot of cardamom in mine as I, I like that burst of lime flavour when you bite into the seeds when, when it's cooked. So what we need to do is take these um, seeds out of the pods um, because you don't want the pods in this dish because you can't eat those. Okay so we'll get on and do that um, in a second. Right the next things we um, the, the total ingredients for all the rest of it is you want um, two medium onions or one large one and one medium one because um, you're going to have to halve the onions so that you only cook one half the onions first and then you cook the other half the onions later on. Uh, you need uh, some kind of meat. I normally use chicken with this. Um, you can use uh, beef, you can use um, lamb as well if you want. Um, I usually use chicken because it's a cheaper meat. Uh, and it tastes nice as well. Um, some kind of a stock, but you can use stock cubes, that's okay. And about uh, two, three tomatoes cut into quarters. That goes in at the end of the dish. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything. The pan you need, now I've only got um, a large frying pan like that because the others, the bottom's concaved a little bit. So it's, it doesn't sit very well on the um, on the cooker. So I've used this pan here um, a few times and it seems to work, but it's much bigger than the rings I've got. So we'll see how we go. But you need a lid to put on it. Um, if you get a proper one with a lid that fits, um, it will, this will go a lot better for you. Uh, but mine I don't. So I'll have a large lid that I put inside this pan on top of what I'm cooking inside, as you'll see later on. Right, we've um, about 20 minutes later, we've um, done the seeds. And that's what the seeds look like. As you'll notice, some of them are black and some of them are light brown. They're all the same, it doesn't matter. And there's all the husks. So we're going off to the shop now to get some tomatoes <coughs> and some tomato puree which we also need and I also need some stock cubes for this. So we go shopping and get these bits and pieces and we'll come back and we'll set these things away. I'm also going to get the, um, <coughs> the chicken out of the freezer. I've got a bag of chicken breasts. Um, they should be thawed enough for me to use um, when I come back. Okay, then we'll get the rest of the ingredients together. See you later. And this is about how many onions I'm going to use. As these are only smaller ones, I've also used 
more of them. So I'm going to skin these and chop them up. And then all I've got to do is to start cooking when I get back from the shops. Best to get everything prepared before you actually uh, make this. So it's messing around. Okay, see you later. Right, I'm back from the supermarket. And a very long chat to a friend as well. Um, this is everything all chopped up ready. I have added another chicken breast because I didn't think that was going to be enough. I've chopped up my tomatoes. There's um, four tomatoes chopped up into quarters. And all those um, onions all chopped up into large pieces. That sort of size is what you want. These are small onions though. And tomato puree. Here we go, on a good squirt of that. About a tablespoonful of that. But again, it's down to your own choice of what it is that you like. Once you've made this recipe once, you can experiment and play around to your heart's content. All right. So we'll get this cleared away and uh, start cooking. I also managed to find the right sort of pan which has got a lid that fits. Yeah, here's the lid. Big pan. Because you've been needing to simmer it for a while. But we'll go through that. As far as timings is concerned I've forgotten all of those. I just make it how I make it, you know. Um, if I can work out a timing I'll try and tell you later all right how long to simmer things for all right so let's get cooking I'm going to use corn oil for this um, because it's not going to add any off flavors you can use corn oil or you can use um, olive oil um, it doesn't really matter we're not going to be using a lot of oil, um, oil. it's just to um, um, cook, part cook the um, onions because remember in this dish the onions are cooked in two different stages the first lot go in and then, uh, and then you put in the second lot that's very important for this so what we're doing now is we're warming up the pan as you can see it started to sizzle there's the ring there nice and hot so I'm just waiting for all this to warm up Shouldn't take more than a cut, a minute or two, a couple of minutes or so. Yeah. Get it nice and hot. That's all the oil you need. That's probably too much. Get it nice and hot. Right, it's getting nice and hot now. Right, let's see if we can um There we go. And you can see we've used about half the onions. So now we're going to cook these for a little bit. some music while we're doing this couldn't we? Uh, uh, 
it's a few minutes to warm up. And it's started to warm up now. So when this gets hot enough, I'll um, start filming again. Now it's starting to soften up a little bit there. Just a little bit. Still need a bit more now. Starting to break up a bit as well. Yeah, we go in there, see, just had a nice, just a nice amount of oil there, that's perfect. See, the trouble is with onions, the more oil you put in, the more oil the onions soak up. I don't like to have it swimming in oil. You know, so don't go bunging loads of oil in. Starting to starting to come on nicely. A few more minutes, and then we'll go on to the next stage. Let's get the old extractor on. That's my extractor. See, I don't go by times of things, how long it takes, I go by what things look like. Still not quite ready yet. We're getting there though. While that's doing, I just wanted to mention that I um, forgot the cumin. I put a bit of extra spices in there. That pile there of cumin, and I've separated the uh, bay leaf because you don't put them in yet. You put them in when we start the simmer. So we finish with the oil. So let's put the cap on the oil. Oh, it's starting to come on now. This is on full heat at the moment. Unfortunately, the area where I live, you cannot get a decent opiata. It's impossible. Um, we tried all the restaurants in my local area, and um, you can't get one that will put all the ingredients in. This originally was a Persian dish, not, not an Indian dish. Now you can use natural ingredients and, and whatever in this if you want. You can make this any way that you want to make it. You know, but uh, if you do it this way and you find out what it tastes like, then you know what flavours you're aiming for. But I just seem to get better results with um, powdered spices and things. Right, we're ready for our chicken now. So we're going to just whack all of our chicken in. Now we're not 
trying to cook the chicken all the way through here. All we want to do is sear it. Coming along, isn't it? It smells lovely. It smells even more lovely when all the spices go in. Right, I think we're getting ready for our spices now. So just basically chuck them all in. See, I've added um, a square shape of tomato puree. See, that's about roughly how much tomato puree you want. The smell that's coming off this is absolutely gorgeous. The whole house is going to stink of this. Lovely. Right, now we're going to add water. about enough. I'm going to wait for this to heat up again. I haven't got the kettle handy otherwise I would have um, put the kettle on and um, put hot water in but I haven't got I haven't got it handy. But I've done it this way before. It's worked. Now we put our bay leaves in. We haven't put our other onions in yet. Now it's time to put our other onions in. Oh, 
Right, we put our pan on it. Pan lid on. A bit of that in the sink. Right. It's still on full heat. So we'll wait for this to warm up. And then we'll turn it down. We want to make sure all the bay leaves are down down into the curry. No curry paste or out like that is needed. It's a chili based curry. As soon as that starts to bubble a bit more, I'll turn it down. And also, I'm going to add my stock, which is a chicken stock. And this is the packet for it. Whoops. When are you going to use one of these? It's a chicken stock pot. There's our sticking chop cube put in and it's starting to bubble up now so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it right down that's on number three and I'll come back and check on it in a few minutes and see how we are oops I turned the wrong one on two three there you are Turn the wrong wing on there for a minute. Okay, that's what we're doing now, and we haven't put our tomatoes in yet. We're going to put them up, put them in somewhere near the end. So we we'll simmer this. And I don't know how long to tell you to simmer it for, because I don't know what's time. I just make it, you know. But instead of rice with this, I'm going to. Um, but I'd have this garlic and coriander mini nan. Uh, put a couple of these in um, in a toaster on a, on a low heat to, to crisp them up, and I think that will go really, really well with this. I've never had these with this dish before. That's what I'm going to have anyway. Um, normally, you would have this with rice. All right, so there you are, John. That's um, that's the first stage is done. So we're now we just sit uh, and wait for this. Come and check every now and again to make sure that um, everything's okay, it's not burning or anything. Uh, and if I do do anything else to it, I'll record it for you. Okay. There we are. Just come back to check on everything to see how things are. And you can see it's bubbling away quite nicely. That's too much really. So we're going to turn down the heat. Give it a bit of a stir to make sure it's not stuck on the bottom. The other thing I was uh, thinking about was um, when you go to a restaurant and have this dish, it's dry. There's no sauce. I like sauce with mine. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. Gonna stick the extractor back on again. It's smoking. Yeah, I've turned it down to the next one, which is now number two. And we'll just leave that simmering for a bit longer. Now we come back to have another look to see what we are. Uh, that's been 20 minutes. Yeah, it's starting to stick on the bottom a little bit, so give it a nice bit of a stir up. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. The sauce is sticking in up now. Oh, this is going to be a good one, this. Yeah, it's coming.
coming along beautifully. Looking absolutely splendid. We'll be soon ready to put our tomatoes in there. In fact, I think we'll put our tomatoes in now. Looking good now. I think we'll put our tomatoes in now, I think. It's about what it looks like, John. There we go. You don't want it too wet. You don't want it burnt dry either. Somewhere in the middle will be just champion. Right, there's our tomatoes in. Still got it on um, on number two. I'm gonna let that simmer with the lid on for a bit longer. Yes, this is really looking good. Now, I, I, I don't have um, anyone to share this with at the minute, so uh, I'll be eating this as it is. But uh, you stick some rice with this, you know, you can, um, you can make more than one portion out of this. And there we are. Right, I'm just giving it another stir. Important to make sure that it doesn't stick on the bottom. See how that sauce is thickening up now? And the tomatoes are getting nice and soft. Yeah, that's coming along beautifully. This isn't going to be long now. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. that another few more minutes. Right, I think we're getting ready to dish up so I've got my plate ready. Oh, look at all that. That's lovely. Let me um, have a bit of a look around. Oh, yes. Yep, that looks pretty much done to me. Time to dish up. But there you are John, that's how it's done. And of course you don't eat the bay leaves, they're only in there for flavouring. So if you come across the bay leaves, take them out. Alright, there you go my friend, that's how you do a dobiada. Enjoy, thanks for watching, more to come later. Bye.